Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine and welcome back to Terraria. I'm finally back in the world with a newfound focus and direction for Sunny D. Now, like I said in the last episode, we are focusing on becoming a ranger, but I can't exactly do that right away. It's going to take a lot of time and effort to upgrade and take on bosses, so we're going to have to work our way up to that, but that's our focus overall. I spent a bit of time after last episode just digging out uh, a lot of the caves down below our base. I even improved the base. And we're kind of just working towards the first boss, the Eye of Cthulhu. So to summon him, there's two ways to do it. Uh, God, they just keep opening doors. I should have locked them in. Uh, two ways to summon him. One is to get to the qualifications which is, I think, three or more NPCs living in a house or structure that you built, uh, 10 or more defense, and then 200 or more health. Now, I've got two out of three of those, and I could have three out of three because I went and upgraded my armor to lead, which I find humorous because I was trash-talking lead for the longest time, thinking it was kind of pointless. And here it was, basically double the armor of copper. So we're gonna run with this. I would like to upgrade to silver or platinum, but we don't have a ton of it. We gathered a bit. Let me see here. Oh, uh, tried to organize the chests as well. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. So we have a bit of silver, but we need a lot of silver to make a full set. And I would rather have a set bonus instead of just a few pieces here and there. So eventually we'll do that. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, right. I made a new hook because I found some more topaz. And <laughs> I, I, we just made a grappling hook in the last episode, but I, I immediately found some topaz and upgraded. And I've been starting to use it. It still isn't second nature, but... I'm getting more familiar with a lot of the shortcuts in the game and it's oh it's so handy so we made that I found another life crystal but that's where I was getting at. I'm not popping that just yet because then I'll be at 200 life and I think I have 11 armor yeah I'm at 11 armor so I fit that qualification Obviously, we have more than three NPCs, and I'd rather not have the Eye of Cthulhu just show up. But the other way to summon him is to make the suspicious looking eye, which requires six lenses, and those drop from the small little eyeballs that fly around. So that's what we're going to work on, but I mean, once we have enough and we have an area set up to fight him, I'll probably pop this and maybe he'll just show up anyways. Another thing though, to make this suspicious looking eye, we needed an altar. Now you need either a demonic altar or a crimson altar. And we are in a world with crimson biome. And <laughs> another funny thing, near the base, early on, this thing nearly killed me because I didn't know what it was. I was trying to hit it and it kept hurting me. And it happened to be a Crimson Altar. So, luckily, we have that right by the base to make anything... To make any evil items to summon bosses or what have you. I don't exactly know what else I'd use the Crimson Altar for. I just know I need it for the suspicious looking eye. So, we're going to try and make the suspicious looking eye. Because we're kind of kitted out right now. Uh, sword I'm not too worried about. I don't want him to get close. Our bow is basically the best we can do right now. This boomerang that we found is actually pretty good. And it's got decent range. We've got a lot of javelins. And I think the only other thing we can do is probably set up an area to fight him. And it should be away from the base. So, I'm thinking... Maybe we'll do it over here, like we'll set it up over the water. Because you can set up like a pseudo arena out of platforms. You may be familiar with this. 
I'm still picking this up as I go, but but we'll make a, a little arena over here and maybe put down campfires because I found out that those have a, a regen ability to our health, as you can see right here. It's slightly, but every little bit will help. It definitely feels like the more I play this game, the more I'm getting used to a lot of the little shortcuts. And I'm sure there's a lot more that I don't know about yet, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit better with this. So we'll just build this up a little bit. Uh, let's... Let's latch on here. Yeah, this makes building so much easier. Build this across. Okay, I'm not sure how far we are. Oh, perfect! So we want the platforms to be at the maximum height that we can jump. So that should be the maximum height we can place. And we'll just do this all the way up to the top and we'll probably have to adjust the upper one so they're nice and even and then we're gonna put campfires all across here they have a pretty big range apparently that you can get the benefit so maybe we'll do it on every other one just as a bit of overkill <laughs> and hopefully this will be a big enough area to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's put these campfires around. And... Ooh, we should make some torches. We'll light this area up. Alright. Uh, right there. Right there. There. And then one down here. Yeah, I think that's good. Now let's put some torches around. Put it at each level to make it look nice. Okay, and perfect. So this should be a pretty good area to fight in. Although, we should probably take out some of these walls on the middle just so we can shoot out we should probably do that we'll just leave one block where the platforms are all right let me just put some of this stuff away i really don't need to be carrying gems on me um i want to pop this life life crystal but that's risky. I'd rather have him summoned on my own terms and not be just a random appearance, especially if I'm down below and he shows up. Because he could kill some of these NPCs. Granted, I think they'll just respawn, but I don't want to deal with that. Campfire. I could put a two campfires up here. Oh, I can turn it off. Ooh. Well, that's neat. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to make this into a pyramid. Because that would look pretty cool. And yeah, maybe I'll do that right now. We'll just buy a little bit of time until it gets dark. And then we can start slaying out some of the eyeballs. And hopefully we'll get enough. Okay, let's see if we can do this right. Um, So it should be just stair stepping up and hopefully it will meet in the middle. Oh, I'm poxing myself in. Yeah, I think that'll do it. And then we just hammer out these edges. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, that's the best we can do. 
All right, well, let's... Oh, we got to put a wall in there. Where's my walls? Uh, there we go. So we'll put a platform in the middle. Oh, Blood Moon. That's actually good. No, that we want that. Because um, I think the, the eyeballs will spawn more frequently in a Blood Moon. Holy crap, though, there's a lot of them. We should... Oh. Get out of here. We should do something about this. Because... Well, actually, just close these doors. They shouldn't be able to get in. Don't mind me, zombies. I'm trying to redecorate. I think I might have to put a wall up. Stop them from breaking down our doors and stop having offers step outside and let them in. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, dirt will, dirt will be fine. We're just gonna barricade ourselves. That actually should be enough. That'll be, that'll be good. How do we want to do this? Uh, I kind of wanted to have a campfire in here. Do we put it on a platform? Like right there? Oh, let me put it! Ah, oh, fine. That works. We're jumping up into the fire, but who cares? Cool. Well, now our, our bunker is a pyramid. If it was good enough for the Egyptians, it's good enough for us. So, are we good enough to go over to the arena and maybe spawn? I mean, we can't spawn the Eye of Cthulhu outright, but maybe it will happen. If we just believe. Let's go away from the house. Okay, where are all those eyeballs? Anytime they want to spawn in... I'm ready. Oh, there's one. Come here. I like the boomerang, but if I miss, there's a lot of travel time involved. There's a lot of them, but it's not too bad right now. How's the javelins? Javelins aren't too bad, and they do overpenetrate, which is cool. Come on. Face me. Oh, I could just throw this straight up and it'll come back down. It's <laughs> missing every time. Damn it. Any lens? How are we doing? Oh, we only need one more and we can summon him. But we'd probably wait another night for that. I'm not doing that during a blood moon. Come on. Please drop a lens. Did we get one? We did. We actually got one. Yeah, perfect timing. We lasted through the, the Blood Moon. We got enough lenses, so now we can summon the eye next evening. Although, at this point, the eye could show up any evening. So, let's see here. Suspicious looking eye. There we go. Like a boss. So we'll just put that right there. Uh, we have to wait a while, so... I guess we'll just go mining a little bit. And then... 
once it turns night, we're going to take on our first boss. Might as well make some headway in that. Okay, where do we want to check out? So, I spent a lot of time going around to the left over here. This is um, right at the start of the ice caves where we bridged across. And there's still a bit more stuff over here. So, maybe we'll continue that way. Uh, further down, looks like there's more stuff down here, but might as well go over here a bit more. There's a lot of caverns underwater, but there's not a lot I can do with that. So I think I'll just work my way to the left over here and see if we can find any more chests and just free goodies. At some point, we're just going to have to head up top on a whim that's going to be close to night because I'm not sure. Get out of here, slimes. All right. So I don't know what to call this little uh, shortcut. It's kind of like an auto aim. Really nice. It's not absolute game changer. It just makes uh, digging a bit easier, especially when it gets dark. And you can't see where you're hitting and you're just swinging your pickaxe at nothing. Yeah, that's me. Oh, get out of here, bat. I we'll have to get some more arrows before we start our fight. And I might try and craft up some special ones. Ooh. It's actually a pretty good cave. Oh, oh, there's something over there. Oh. Get out of your skeleton. I want to check that thing out over there. And then we'll head back up top. Ooh. Please tell me there's a chest. Oh, we're getting into the desert. See some antlions over there. Whoa, this is a big building. Uh oh, is that going to be a big worm? Oh, it's just a little one. Still annoying. Come here. Come on. Got him. Okay, what's in the chest? Uh, another boomerang. Not as good as what we got. Flaming arrows. All right. How do we uh, swap between? Oh. Get out of here. I'm busy. Some healing potions. Recall. And you know we're going to take this chest. We take everything. Is this a gold chandelier? Oh, fancy. Oh, statue? Granite golem statue. Alright. Is that another gold chandelier? Tin chandelier. Alright. We'll take it regardless. Is this ore over here? Silver ore? Okay. Well, that was a nice little haul. I'm going to head back up top, craft up some arrows, and we'll get ready for a fight. Okay, arrows, stone, and wood. That's it? Oh, okay. Well, we want to get a bit of those. I don't know how much we'll need because we'll try and use the boomerang. Flaming arrows. Flaming arrows will probably be pretty good. We just need to mix that with torches. But how do I cycle in between? Do I just need to put that at the top? Alright, did that work? Do we have... Alright, there we go. So we got flaming arrows to work with. Ooh, okay. Uh-oh. I think... I think that means that the Eye of Cthulhu is going to show up. 
So we actually don't need this. But we'll save it because I think we get materials to drop from this boss. So we'll probably end up having to fight it multiple times. Not a bad idea. We'll take an iron skin potion. Uh, thorns potion. Feather fall, just in case. Yeah, I think feather fall will be good. We have better jumping capability. And... Uh, I think that's all we can do right now. I hope we're prepared for this. I think we're ready. We've got decent armor. We've got decent gear. We've set up an arena for the fight. I mean, come on. <laughs> what more should we have to do? Oh, I have Cthulhu. Where, where, where? Oh, from the left. Come here. Yeah, you're a big eyeball. Ooh, tanky eyeball. Just keep shooting. I think it's doing pretty good. Just really tanky. Come on. Let's try some javelins. Ooh, javelins doing pretty good. I mean, we're losing all of our javelins, but... Come on! You're not so tough. Okay, all these eyes are kind of getting annoying. Should we try the boomerang? How's the boomerang? Not bad if the eye is somewhat close. Uh-oh. Oh, the eye's enraged. How does that even work? You were an eye, now you're a mouth. Okay, you're not you're not that bad. My health's not dropping really because of these uh these campfires regening. And probably the iron skin potion and all that. Come on. Oh. So close. Almost. Just a little bit. Yeah. Easy. We did it! We got our first boss! What did he drop? Uh, Crimtain Ore because the Crimson Biomes. I don't... I don't know what I can do with that just yet. But I think I might be able to make some armor with that. And that was so easy. Let's... Let's do another one. Get some more material while it's still night. I mean, why not? Uh, if we can make some new armor and a new bow, maybe, with this. Ooh. We are going to really kick things off right. Ooh, I wish I had some more javelins. Javelins were doing great. If I had one that just I could throw and it would just regenerate, that would be awesome. I haven't checked. Is this range damage or is it melee? Oh yeah, this is this is so easy. <laughs> I think I spent way too much time with prep work. Well, granted, I didn't know exactly how to get him summoned, so 
it just took me looking it up after I'd already kind of just twiddled my thumbs for episodes on end. Okay, you're in rage now. Doesn't mean much to me. Look how the sword does. I don't want to be too close, but... Uh, the sword's not that great in comparison to the bow. I mean, I'm doing really good damage, and with the fire arrows, that's an extra kick. Almost. Just a little bit. Ah, yeah. We did it. Awesome. So, is he just dropped the ore then? Is that it? Well, that's really cool. Let's go see what the, the ore can be made into, and then we'll call it there. All right, 29 bars. What can we make? Oh, okay. We can make a yo-yo called artery. Gross. Uh, a sword called blood butcher. Bloodlust cluster. Is that an axe? Ooh, a bow, a tendon bow. Ooh, okay. Flesh catcher. Oh, it's a, it's a fishing rod. Okay, well that's weird. Can we make armor out of it? Because I kind of want to make that bow, but if we can make armor, I kind of want to know. What can I make out of this? The meatball? Uh, okay, yeah, I can make armor. Is it seven defense, six. Yeah, that's really good armor. How much do I need for it? 25 and tissue sample. Where... Where do I get tissue sample? Is that... Maybe that's in the, the crimson biomes? Huh. Well... At any rate, we can't make the armor just yet, so I'll make that bow. And then, uh... Looks like we're gonna be delving into the crimson areas to try and get some of the other materials. Because that armor would be great! Okay, one bow, please. Yeah, six more damage. Average speed, but... Let's just see this thing real quick. Well, yeah, it's a little slower, but it does more damage, so that's awesome. Well, that worked out in our favor. We killed our first boss twice, got some new material, and we're well on our way to upgrading towards the next boss, which I have to see which one that is. I think it's tied to the Crimson Biome, but that will be for next time. So, as always, I want to thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to hit that like button down below, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.